There are a lot of things to think about as you plan for the birth of your baby, including how you are going to feed them. You may already have a plan for feeding your baby, or you may still be processing the news of your pregnancy and have not thought about it at all yet. Either way, we are here to help you make the best decision for you and your family. This video will cover benefits of breastfeeding for you and your baby, breastfeeding recommendations, and when it might be necessary to give formula. Breastfeeding offers many benefits to you and your baby, including lower risks of several infections and diseases. Babies who are breastfed are at lower risk of gastrointestinal infections, respiratory infections, ear infections, and sudden infant death syndrome. You can benefit from breastfeeding too. Breastfeeding helps the uterus return to its regular size more quickly and can protect mothers from bleeding too much after giving birth. It can also delay the return of the mother's menstrual period, which can help extend the amount of time between pregnancies. Breastfeeding can even reduce your risk of developing breast and ovarian cancers and postpartum depression. Let's hear from a family who can tell us firsthand how breastfeeding benefited their child. When I had Sebastian, he was three months early mm -hmm. and um, in the NICU, and uh, the nurses just kept telling me how um, how much my breast milk would help him mm -hmm. and to try as you know much as I could and I was lucky enough to produce quite a bit and he has yet to be sick <laughs> he just whizzed right through that NICU and I want to say you know that breast milk just really really helped <laughs> Experts recommend feeding your baby only breast milk for their first six months of life and then continuing to offer breast milk until at least their first birthday while introducing other foods. You can continue breastfeeding as long as you and your baby want to. Many mothers worry that they might not be able to breastfeed for the recommended amount of time or wonder if they will need to add formula to ensure their baby gets enough to eat. This is normal and the good news is that you do not have to make this decision now. The most important thing to do at this stage of your pregnancy is to learn as much as you can about your options. In the end, any amount of breast milk you are able to give your baby is a good thing. Even if you decide to breastfeed your baby, there are still times when it might be medically necessary to give your baby formula. For example, you may need to give formula if you are separated from your baby and unable to remove breast milk, your baby was born prematurely and doesn't yet have the strength to suck on the breast, or you and your baby have an anatomical difference that hinders breastfeeding. For example, if you have had a medical procedure or condition affecting your breasts. In very rare cases, your baby's pediatrician may diagnose them with an intolerance to breast milk, or you may be taking a medication that makes breastfeeding unsafe. Again, these situations are very rare. Your doctor or your baby's pediatrician will let you know if any of these things do occur. It is possible to offer both breast milk and formula. Some mothers need to give formula for one of the reasons that was just listed, but still offer as much breast milk as they can. If you do have difficulty feeding your baby breast milk at first, it is essential that you pump or hand express breast milk in order to establish your milk production. If you have family members who are unable to breastfeed, this does not mean that you will have the same experience. With plenty of support and lots of learning and practice, most mothers are able to breastfeed successfully if they choose. My name's Trinette. Um, my daughter Savannah is two and a half. It was really important for me to breastfeed her so we could have that special bond uh, between a parent and a child, and also just to give her the best nutrition that I could, that I could give her. We are here to support you, whether you choose to feed your baby breast milk, formula, or a combination of both. Each mother and baby is unique, and our goal is to make sure you get the information you need as you decide how to feed your baby. Here are a few things to think about as you go through your first trimester. Do I want to breastfeed? If so, for how long? Which benefits of breastfeeding are most important to me? What does my partner or family think about breastfeeding? What questions do I still have about breastfeeding? 